What's up guys, so recently got a question asking if I could do a custom Fear of God video So that's what I'll be doing today for you guys Now they weren't specific on what they wanted me to do in a Fear of God style So I'm just gonna maybe make a few videos depending if I can come up with any ideas But first I'm gonna be trying to make a uh, custom flannel uh, As you know they do the sleeveless flannels that look really good So we're gonna be trying to make this one somewhere on the screen right now It has the nice, uh, this little flaps right here which I'm wearing it right now the one that I made myself I made this one that I'm wearing that I cut the sleeves it has like that little like butterfly-ish looking wing going on but I also want to show you guys in my recent video of my H&M pickups I picked up this one because there are different ways you don't have to just do the butterfly one you could just cut off the entire sleeve well I guess actually this entire sleeve isn't cut off but it's barely hanging on there like that so you can do that. You don't have to do it how I'm doing it. I'm just going to be showing you a way that I did it. And if you want to do it the way I'm doing it, go ahead. And uh, hopefully yours works out. Here's mine. I think mine looks uh, pretty well. I'll stand up with it. It has a little wing. It almost looks like those uh, like shirts that you used to buy years and years ago, if you know what I'm talking about. I know mine's not exactly perfect. But I, it still looks pretty good. I'm pretty excited about it. But I'll be showing you how to make it right now. There are a few things you will need. Actually, just a couple things you're going to need. So let's get right into it. Now, the only thing I used in this custom was the flannel, of course, scissors, and my eyes. Because I did not uh, use a ruler or anything. I've seen a couple people use an envelope. But the whole envelope thing is kind of stressing me out. So I figured I'd do it my own way. So I'm going to show you how I did it. Now, first, what you're going to want to do is actually try the flannel on because you want to figure out where you want the sleeve measurement to go. So once you figure out, uh, while it's on, once you figure out where about you want it to cut, I recommend just leaving like a little mark, uh, like mark it with your finger or something. I don't know, put a pin in it, uh, whatever you can do to mark it on where you want to do it. Then you want to lay the flannel face down on the ground. Now you're probably wondering why face down, but I personally feel like it works better rather than face up. I don't know why, but that's just personal preference. If you want to do it face up, you can. But lay it face down. Now find out about where your mark was. Uh, if you had the pin, use the pin. But make sure there's no wrinkles in the flannel. Just lay it down flat as you possibly can get it. Make sure all the wrinkles are out. It looks perfectly straight. It looks fine. Then once you see where you have your pin line, just cut straight uh, going down. Because if you want the butterfly effect, the top bar has to be further out. Now what worked out perfect for this exact flannel I have was the line on the flannel was actually in the pattern was exactly what I was actually going for. So I just cut on the line right there, directly on that line, cut all the way through. Now I'm actually not going to be doing it because I already did it on the one flannel, but trust me that's all I did was cut right on that line. And then when you do the one side, you can go to the other side, cut the exact pattern, make sure it matches. So make sure you cut on the exact length you did so they look it's the same. And then when you throw it on, it should look it should look great. Um, again, I went with an extra large for that oversized fit. If you don't want the oversized fit, you don't have to, but that's just what I did. And this was a flannel I picked up at H&M. And uh, a lot of people don't like the frayed look, but I actually enjoy the frayed look. I feel like it looks more like authentic rather than just like factory done. I mean, you can factory do the fraying obviously but I just think it looks better like this it looks kind of like I did it and I kind of like that fact now obviously it doesn't look exactly identical to the fear of God one but it still looks pretty close I mean I didn't really know exactly what to do I just kind of going at it someone wanted me to make the video so I figured I would make it for them so hopefully you enjoyed the custom if you did I'll, uh, go ahead and try it out hopefully it works really nice for you I think it looks really nice for me uh, here it is again with the sleeves how it frays out like that I mean how it pokes out like that again if you don't if you once you cut it and if you don't like how it looks obviously just like move it up a little bit change the angle how you want to cut I mean experiment with it it's always better to leave more than to take away less because you can't add it back on which you can take away more you know what I'm saying leave some more room just cut it again if you don't like it it should work out so I hope you like that tutorial I mean I tried my best as my first tutorial I hope you enjoyed it and it's like I said it's not really exactly identical to the fog one but it looks pretty good in my opinion if you don't want to spend the fear of god prices so but if you did like the tutorial please like comment and subscribe I might be doing more of these in the future I'm not entirely sure I'm new to 
the uh, tutorial world. So hopefully it works out for you. Let me know how you guys did in the comments below. And please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll check you in the next video. And thanks for watching.